Did you know that plants also suffer from diseases due to microbes just like us? And that plants also have an immune system to fight these microbes. As plants are an essential part of food sources for us, studying microbial infections in plants and understanding their immunity is crucial to agriculture. Here is an example of such a study that has helped India. Rice is one of the main staple crops produced in India. However, sometimes up to 50% of rice crops are lost due to plant diseases caused by microbes every year. A common deadly disease in rice plants is bacterial blight. It affects many rice varieties, including the popular Samba Masuri variety. Once the blight causing bacteria infect the plant, the leaves turn yellow. The bacteria feed on the plant's nutrients, affects the rice grains, and gradually kills the plant. We cannot kill these bacteria with pesticides. To address the problem, scientists at Centre for Cellular and Molecular Biology, Hyderabad, began to grow rice plants with stronger defence systems against the blight bacteria. It all started with Dr. Ramesh Sonti and Dr. Hitendra Patel's group trying to understand two main aspects, how bacteria attack rice plants and how the plant's immune system fights back. The team discovered that the blight-causing bacteria secrete certain molecules that break down the outer wall of the plant cells and enter the cells. But they also found that the plants can fight the bacteria attack and protect themselves, thanks to many immunity genes. Globally, scientists have found many such genes and have listed them. From this list, they have to identify the genes that help fight bacterial blight infection in Samba Masuri rice plants in India. They found three immunity genes effective against these bacteria. The scientists had to now transfer these genes to the vulnerable Samba Masuri rice variety. To do this, they found a rice variety that had all the three desired genes. They bred this plant with a Samba Masuri plant, continuing the breeding multiple times in the progeny plants. At each stage, they used molecular tools to look for and select plants with the blight immunity genes. And over time, the progeny plants had all the qualities of Samba Masuri rice plant and the desired immunity genes against the blight. This new blight-free variety called the improved Samba Masuri rice is being grown in many states across India. But the arms race between bacteria and rice plants continues. Even though we have this variety now, bacteria keep finding new ways to break the plant's immune system. So scientists are constantly in search of more genes that strengthen the plant's immune system. They can then use those genes to develop other kinds of more robust and healthier rice plants. After all, bacterial blight is one of the infections that harm rice plants. There are many such microbes that cause diseases in rice and other crops. Would you like to join the plant scientists in finding solutions to make better crops and boost agriculture? Presented to you by CSIR CCMB, CSIR Jigyasa, supported by Department of Science and Technology and National Council for Science and Technology Communication. To know more about CSIR CCMB's work, please visit www.ccmb.res.in.